awesome. Hi, I'm about to teach you how to use Siphon in order to access websites and information that you may not be able to view due to internet filtering and censorship. Siphon is one of the many services you can use in order to circumvent web censorship and it works like a proxy service by routing your connection to the internet through a different server called a Siphon node. Additionally, all of this routed information is encrypted, which means that it helps to enhance your privacy online as well. There are essentially two versions of Siphon. Siphon 1 is a system of nodes that are maintained by internet users with high-speed connections in areas with unfiltered internet. Siphon 2 consists of a system of proxy servers that are maintained by Siphon for others to utilize. This tutorial will focus on using Siphon 2. Before we can actually start using Siphon, we have to get a Siphon invitation. Siphon uses this web of trust system so that the Siphon nodes are harder to block. In order to obtain an invitation, you can ask other Siphon users on Siphon's Facebook and Twitter pages. It also might be worth your time to ask organizations that deal with internet censorship for Siphon invitations. You can probably find one of these organizations with a simple Google search of internet censorship. Once you've obtained the invitation, you simply open your web browser and then enter the invitation link into your address bar. Now, I'm not showing you my invitation link because I want to make sure that it keeps working. Now, once you enter the invitation, you'll come to a page entitled Siphon Terms of Use and Privacy Policy. Read the terms of use and then click on Agree. On the next page, you'll see that you have the ability to select your language and view blocked sites. Up here you'll see a blue bar where you can enter the address of the website you want to visit and at the far right you'll see an up and down arrow. Clicking either of these will move the address bar to either the bottom or the top of the page. What we want to do right now is create a Siphon account. Creating a Siphon account serves a couple of different purposes. First, it allows you to use the service. Secondly, if you enter a valid email address, Siphon will send you updated nodes if the one you're using ever gets blocked. So it makes sense to enter an actual email address. So click on Create Account. And here you can read some privacy information and then enter your information in order to create your account. When you enter your username, remember not to use your name or even any part of your name. Make it something original in order to maintain your privacy. So I'm going to do that now. 12 p.m. tutors. Okay. Now you enter a valid email address in order to receive new node information. Uh, Siphon recommends a Gmail account, which isn't a bad idea because Gmail is encrypted. So I'll enter a Gmail account here. Tutorials at gmail.com. Okay, and then when you enter your password, try to use a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols for extra security. Okay, now enter the security code and click Create Account. The next page welcomes you to Siphon and gives you a link to log in to Siphon. Make sure you write this link down so that you can use it later. For now, click on the link and then agree to the terms of service again. Now we can see the same address bar and language selection page as before, but at the top are a few more options. Broken page will allow you to report any website that is not working with the Siphon service. Bookmark will save pages for you to quickly navigate back to later. Profile will show you your username and email address and will also give you the opportunity to change your password. And Logout will log you out from the Siphon service entirely. There are a few key things to remember when using Siphon. When you want to visit a web page, you must enter the web address into the blue header marked URL. If you enter the URL into your web browser's address bar, you'll leave the Siphon service. Here, I'll show you. First, I'm going to type www.google.com into the bar marked URL. Okay, so I'm now at Google Canada, which isn't my normal Google page because I'm accessing it through Siphon. The other indication that I'm still using Siphon is that the blue bar marked URL is still at the top of my page. Now I'm going to enter www.google.com 
into my web browser's address bar. There. Now I'm back at my regular Google page and the blue URL bar is gone. If you navigate away from Siphon accidentally, you can usually hit your browser's back button in order to gain access to it again. Like so. If that doesn't work, you can re-enter the address that Siphon gave you on the welcome page and log back into the service. Now you know how to use Siphon.